here with Lisa and Irene. You guys are here to talk about your events that are happening this weekend for the International Women's uh, Theater Festival. And it's going to be happening at the Elks Lodge uh, tonight, Saturday night. And of course, the wrap up is going to happen at the Roxy at 7 p.m. All 7 p.m., all happening in Missoula. Bad weather, good chance to get indoors and see some comedy, see some. Uh, anecdotal humor type stuff as well. Mm -hmm. So one of the things that we're gonna start with Lisa is that you're gonna be talking about uh, the uh, codependent lesbian alien seeks same. <laughs> right, 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 yeah. Um, there, we're going to screen, it's a feature length film uh, that, that I have a, a lead role in called Codependent Lesbian Space Alien Seek Same. Uh, and it's a comedy and it's a, it's a send up to 1950s UFO movies and alien movies and, 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 and a send up to like Ed Wood style movies. Um, it's a film that premiered at the Sundance Film Festival. And so yeah, we'll be screening it tonight. And then following that, we'll be screening The Changeover uh, by Miranda Harcourt, who's also a person who's a participant in this festival. Oh, that's great. Uh, so it's going to be, the, it's kind of like a meet and greet with the filmmaker, right? Yeah, she'll actually, I'll be there, right, of course, and yeah. Miranda will come in on Skype afterwards to talk to folks. And when was this movie made? The, the Codependent? Yes. Was, so it was when? Yes. It was made 2011, mm -hmm. shot in New York City. Okay. okay. <laughs> and you've been showing it ever since, you know, talking about it, kind of like touring with this movie as well. So it played, it played at festivals um, for two years. It played the festival circuit for two years, and then now it's available on streaming. Oh, cool. Yeah, streaming like Amazon and, and other VOD platforms, and it's also available in, v, in DVD. Yep. And what, are, what have been some of the receptions to this movie? Oh, I mean, um, so, so it's a comedy. Um, and so we got like a great review from IndieWire, from The Hollywood Reporter, um, which people could look up online if you right. wanted to see that. You can also look on um, IMBD to find links to reviews and stuff. But yeah, we found a lot of really great oh, reviews. That's awesome. How's it playing yeah. in space? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I, I think good. I think good. It, you know, send the old uh, television uh, uh, radio signals out there, you know. Uh, and maybe aliens will pick it up someday. Yeah, that's... They'll that's be like, a, I can relate to that. Right, right, right. <laughs> There's always something that people can relate to yeah. in any of these things. And uh, you also have a, a book reading. You're a poet, you're an author, screenplay, all sorts of things. <laughs> so this is uh, Irene O'Garden. Mm -hmm. And sorry, I always have to refer to my notes because oh, it's... all right. Okay. Yeah, Risking right. the Rapids. Yes. Risking the Rapids. It, it's, and the subtitle is How My Wilderness Journey Healed My Childhood. And it's it, it, part of the uh, memoir takes place in the Bob Marshall wilderness. Oh, yeah. Yeah. A couple years ago, uh, I decided to go out in the backcountry with my brother, Jim, who goes out every year. And he said, come on out. Uh, we'll do a float trip. It'll be nice. It'll be easy. Uh, I'll be with my sister. Uh, Bob Marshall is <laughs> not easy. Like, well, he's like, <laughs> oh, we'll just, we, I'll teach you how to fly fish. And I'm thinking like, oh, a river runs through it. We've got to do this. All right. And it was also in commemoration of a, a brother of ours who had died, and unexpectedly. And this guy was a troublesome guy. So uh, we sort of decided to, to reach some closure about the family on that journey. And so the book also covers my upbringing in the uh, middle of the country, in the middle of the last century, in the middle of seven children, and I had a celebrity dad, and my mom was a kind of icy, socially uh, oriented person, not so much with the kids, and there were rivers of martinis, and all kinds of stuff. So, so that's what that book is about, and uh, I'll be reading from that. And then on Sunday night, uh, we are having a, a staged reading of a play of mine that was done off-Broadway, and it's called Women on Fire, and it is 12 monologues. Uh, uh, various women, um, each of them is on fire about something, and it's all different. Somebody's oh. on fire about shopping, somebody's on fire nice. about grandchildren, somebody's on fire. So it's a, it's it, a wide it's, range. It's very much like, what's the deal with this, and then the other person's like, wait a minute, but what's the deal with that? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Awesome. And also, you have your second performance. <clears throat> yeah, on, on Saturday night, we'll be doing, so Lisa Berger, who's my writing partner and acting partner, will be doing a reprisal of a sketch comedy titled Rita and Inez, The True Queens of Femininity, which actually premiered here in Missoula at the Top Hat, like 20, 
25, well, maybe almost 30 years ago. <laughs> but we're, we're both back in bad to do a repri reprisal of that sketch comedy, which is, I guess I would describe as like some right on raunch. <laughs> so your first event's happening tonight. Tonight. Um, and that's at the Elks at 7 p.m. It's going to be kind of a, a Q&A after, like it's going to be like a fun Q&A comedian kind of sketch after everyone watches your movie. Uh, once again, that movie is called Codependent Lesbian Aliens Seek Same. Yeah. And also, you'll be uh, uh, doing um, your Risking the Rapids on tonight or Saturday night, so Saturday. 7 p.m. at the Elks. So you two will be together on Saturday. Correct. So yes. you're by yourself on Friday night at 7 p.m. Correct. with another group that's presenting. And then on Saturday, you guys join forces to uh, present together. And also, we, Teresa Logan, a stand-up comedian, yeah. will be doing a set. That wow. evening on Saturday night as also well. Also very fun. Yep. Yeah, so uh, awesome. from what from my what I heard from Maura on Wednesday's interview, we have more times and a lot of things happening this weekend as well. Is that you guys talked about uh, many things uh, from you have two events happening tonight at the Elks, then you got three events, three different events happening Saturday night at seven, and then Sunday is going to be kind of like the wrap up show with a, lo a little bit of everything. Absolutely, and the tickets are really reasonable. They're ten dollars. For, for any of the events, uh, because we really just want people to come in and see what we've been doing and, uh, and, and hopefully uh, encourage other people to be creating. Yeah, you know? that's, that's what it's all about. Yeah. You gotta go around, show people uh, a, a new perspective on how you present yourselves and how, how people see it and like, you know, something that you, know, you, wouldn't see, you wouldn't normally see in Missoula. Like, Missoula's kind of become a hub for a lot of people coming through showing a lot of their talents. Yeah, yeah sure. as well they should. Awesome. Well, thank you guys very much. Once again, it's going to be at the Alex Lodge. This is the International Women's uh, Theater Festival, and it's happening 7 p.m. every single night starting tonight, and it'll be wrapping up at the Roxy at, on Sunday. But again, Friday, Saturday night, Alex Lodge. You can't miss it. All right, guys, do you have anything else you want to say? Free parking? Is there free parking in, so in the evenings? Yes, free parking after, free five, parking. after free parking. 5 p.m. You don't have to worry about meters. That's just the that's, that's Dakota, Missoula. It's... it's you know, like the meter monitors, their work hours are from nine to five. So remember that. Even sometimes, even after four thirty, because uh, you know I've worked downtown for a little while. It's like <laughs> I know their route. <laughs> <laughs> Again, um, I'm going to put up the, you guys' websites. Uh, that's lisa-haas.com and Oreen O'Garden, no apostrophe, dot com. Oreen O'Garden dot com, and I'll put them on the uh, video links as well, so you guys can check out more information about them. So thank you guys very much. Thank you. And a good show. Thanks Thank a you. lot.